Hey guys, what's up? Happy Vlogmas Day 2! Oh my god, I'm so excited! It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! It's Vlogmas! I've never done this. It's like, how do you do this? I call it dope boy magic. Sorry, I just be singing songs. And this, if you're new to this channel, you'll notice randomly songs come out of my brain because I'm a lyrical person. <laughs> but yes, welcome. I'm happy you're here. Today, today, today is a vlog where I'm going to be sharing with you all how I prep for the biggest event I've ever done. This is a fashion show in the biggest mall in the capital of my state. So I live in basically Durham, Morrisville, Cary. And Raleigh is nearby and Raleigh is the capital of North Carolina and there's a huge mall uh, where there's going to be thousands of people at this fashion show and I have to prepare my candles. So I was like, you know what, let me up my stuff. So honestly, candle science is, you count your days, candle science. These, I bought these mini tins and the paint kind of trickles off, like the paint ruptures off of it. So I bought some like heat resistant stuff i'm gonna test to see if i can even make use of these but if i can't because the stuff will be here tomorrow y'all know cyber monday amazon prime is not amazon prime no more amazon is like you'll get it when you get it when it comes to holidays <laughs> instead of today <laughs> but yeah if i can't use that i'm gonna use these um these are so pretty these are like beautiful gold uh mini tins that i want to use for samples to give out to people i know it's a big amount but it's so important to give out a large amount because people will purchase a large amount because people are um sensitive and they match these gold lids <clears throat> you see what i'm saying so i will be changing up my entire line so instead of selling these black candle science jars i don't know i'm just like i'm not a fan i feel like these come from china um they look nice, but they don't look like bougie. They look like what they are. Like, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I've been hating. I've been hating on camera signs lately. I don't know what that is. I need to undo it. I would like to retract any hating comments and just be like, look, everybody likes what they like. And um, if you like camera signs, I am not hating on you. I'm just not a fan anymore. But I'm going to upgrade from those to these. So matte white with gold. So I have like a map. You were just on my iPhone and now you're on my Canon EOS M50. But yeah, as I was saying, I have this and this. This is one idea. And then I wanted to incorporate a mini size. You know, you always want to have three sizes right there. So I think these three will work right here. One, two, and three. Um, I like that, but I just wish I had like gold lids for the minis too. That would be perfect, you know? Um... I wonder if I could just spray them gold or if that's too much. I don't know. But beyond that, I also have this size that I could do. I really just want to use everything I have. Like I have so many jars. I don't know if y'all saw my clean with me video, which you can watch. Link in the description of this one. But I have so many jars that I don't use. And I was like, why am I buying ever anything? Call her up on her phone. She won't know I'm at the door. Because they know that she is with some boy shorts on. <laughs> Same girl. I'm listening to R. Kelly, even though we don't support We don't support R. Kelly. Thought she was. And then I wanted to buy white uh, room sprays with gold lids. I don't know why. I'm just in my white and gold era. You know? I think it's perfect for the holiday season. And then I got my nails. Well, I did my nails. I'm going to start giving y'all like tutorials. But this is a gel X. I did a nude pink. And then I did a peach pink on all of them and then I put some diamonds on them. I wish I could see the diamonds. It's so freaking pretty. Like I am obsessed. I've never done this. It's so it's getting ghetto, but you know, and then under my hair and it's like these are things I would have never done in corporate America because I'm all like corporate America, corporate America. I'm scared of what people think. Loving on me. <laughs> oh yes. So yes. That was a crazy I had a crazy workout this morning, you guys. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what to do with these. Like, I just do not know now. I think I'm just going to spray them down. I'm so happy, though. Like, being a YouTuber, the hardest part about being a YouTuber is when you accidentally 
purchase something that isn't helpful because that's like the worst like that's my worst fear i would hate to do that oh i could start selling these <laughs> big bodies yes we're gonna start we're gonna sell these at the fashion show these are gonna be like forty dollars each people love stuff like this oh, it just smells so good i'm so excited so i'm just waiting on brands like i've been working with a few brands i worked with Hive and Honey and Nixie to send me like products from my line. Like, please send me on my. I'm a firm. They're sending everything on Monday. They send everything on Monday. They send everything on Monday. But yeah, I'm about to shower, and then I'm going to do a wig testing. Okay, guys, it is mini moons later, and I got my water, my little cute fit. I'm about to show y'all the fit. Hold on. Challenging. Look at me. Look at me. All I gotta say is, if you're a woman, folk, and you're shy, or you're like fearful of anything, go to the gym and lift heavy. When you progressively learn to lift heavier and heavier and heavier, it takes away all the insecurity you created from learned behavior because fear is learned insecurities learn so go to the gym with heavier and heavier and heavier and watch how your mindset changes your mindset is what is important in terms of getting out of your own way and when you change your mindset you see inspired actions for what you desire today i was just about to exchange all of my matte black beautifuls for white ones so that i could have some sort of like aesthetic with these um jars but then it occurred to me because I'm not as stupid, that I also have these. I have to go get them, they're in my garage. Oh, it smells good, it's been Magnolia Peony, and it's my last one, I cannot get away from it for dear life. Can somebody please buy this up off of me? But look, this the bundle. This the bundle. Do I sound black? This the new bundle. Why do I keep saying words like in a getaway? I don't know. But that's it. That's how it's gonna look. Black and gold. Cute. It looks expensive to me. Like, I'm just trying to make fetch happen. Honestly, I would prefer white and gold together like this. But then my room spray bottles are black and that doesn't match. So it's like how to do the bundle without that, you know? or maybe fuck the bundle maybe people can purchase things in a bundle but they don't have to all have the same color <laughs> these have gold inside but it's a different gold i get so serious when it comes to aesthetics like aesthetic has to aesthetic the aftermath the black friday cyber money pack your orders is crazy <laughs> This is not my vibe. Like, I'm so serious. This is a brown jar. This is what I was talking about with candle science. This is sold as a black jar. It is brown. This is black. This is matte black. This is brown. Candle science. And they know that. They bought it from a vendor that they get a good discount on. So they just cheap out on, on quality. It just, you know when something's hitting you all at once, it's like, oh my god, why was I buying from them? <laughs> like, it's just slapping me like this. Why was you buying stuff from them? I don't know, they have 100,000 followers, and it seems like that's the same as like, just because you have a lot of followers doesn't mean you have a lot of quality. Thank you.
Hey guys, so if you're loving this color, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you. It's giving Beyonce or Tierra Marie or Diana Tejada. Um, whatever. But anywho. Um I loved doing that just now. That was really great. I'm realizing that wick testing is so important when it comes to any new jar. So I'm really just wanting to encourage you guys to wick sure you wick test. Don't just use the wick you're used to. Like I could have just used a smaller wick that worked with this tin. But something told me, let me just test and see how they perform. And I, as you saw, I put that um, jar on a scale so we can see the fill weight because it call four ounces but it was only 2.6 so if you get these jars which i'll link down below um the fill weight's 2.6 ounces which i'm not mad at because these are free samples i'd rather give out two ounce samples and four ounce samples <laughs> so super excited i'm gonna let those cure up and then we'll do a wick testing in like four hours <laughs> It's loudly obvious. <laughs> I'm so happy we did this. But she's from Nicaragua, I thought she was Persian love. Are we turning up? Are we wasting time? Girl, don't waste my time. No, hardly. Okay, guys, here they are after just 30 minutes. Um, we have a clear winner. Obviously, I'm going to use this one because immediately y'all saw the flame and how it was tripping on us. And even right now, it's dancing a lot. But yeah, that was all for today's vlog. I'll link the jars and the wick I use. I'll actually put them all on Patreon because I feel like Patreon people need to know things. So I'm actually going to put all this stuff on Patreon for people to gain access to it. And then definitely stay tuned for tomorrow's video. <laughs> 